Gaming Guardian here because good games are worth guarding and we return once again to West of Loathing! Uh, try to be as dramatic as possible and shoot! And can I shoot? I can shoot the tumbleweed! Alright, let's get in there. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we were gonna grind this. Um, open a whole bunch! <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's shoot, uh, 24, that does hot damage, let's do that. I have the volume up way too loud on my end. I'll turn that down a little bit. <laughs> and shoot. Kaboom. How dire of you. It's magic. Or beam casting, or whatever the heck it's called. Negative five, baby. Negative three. It actually tells you how. Okay, that's actually really cool. You know what? I'm gonna have her heal me. Just dump your crap and give me some healing. And. Take this beam. Bam! In the face. <laughs> okay. Skull chip, skeleton bone. Okay. I... Well, I probably should have gone after him first. At least this guy's down now. I love that she hits everyone. Ah, should I feel sorry for the skeletons? No. I choose not to. Clever Dave Ford. Wait. Gritty Dave Moyer. Tote Dave McCree. Daddy! Aww. Shooty! Her eyes light up. Evidently, she has an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. <gasps> Way to go. Okay. Um, Rowdy Dave Garner. Clever Dave Holiday. Oh my gosh, they're all Dave. Four Flesh and Dave Johnson. How many Daves are there? Okay. Um, so they're not exactly the same after every fight. What? Alice will instantly destroy the skeleton. Good to him. That was cool. That was cool. She destroyed, destroyed, destroyed that there skeleton. Click, click, boom, baby. You got an item gold tooth. Got an item handful of loose teeth. Alice erases and jot some notes down. Rowdy Dave Cogburn. Clever Dave Garner. Okay, I feel like we're getting dead eye Dave McCoy. It's not repeating though, it's because it's it says something different. Gonna bane sling ya. So uh, no, I'm sorry if this episode tends to be a little boring. I don't blame you if you want to skip it. But, you know, if you want to have some words in on what goes on here on this channel, you could support me on my Patreon. The link is down in the description. And you can share things you like, don't like, and, you know. Get your voice heard. <laughs> okay, I'm totally doing that. That sounds like a bird. Uh, picks up a bone and examines it carefully.
take down Mr. Casty Cast. Well, that didn't work. I think five is seven, okay. You hit me with a board. Rude. Tough Dave Carson. Clever Dave Carson. Tootin' Dave Dottie. That's like jumping. Take a bean to the face. Hot beans, that is. What's cool is I can literally take them down in three turns. Or four. Two turns, but. Like, four attacks. Okay, wait. I need to double check. Am I getting EXP for this? I said I was doing this to grind EXP. At the time that I'm recording this, I want coffee. <laughs> 30 EXP. Okay. Okay. Hold the phone. <laughs> I have so much EXP. Oh, I need 400 for that. Uh. Uh, wary? Eye out for trouble. Because you know it's keeping an eye out for you. Ah, maximum AP. Tamper with the forces of nature, making you yourself a force of nature. Okay. Let's see. I mean, did they not think we would take advantage of this? Surely there's a limit, right? There ya, my. Get your foot burned by some beans. Zooms to the rescue. <laughs> okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. XP. Wait, she's become stronger again. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Way to go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight. So twenty-eight divided by three. Well, it doesn't work out evenly for one thing. Because three times ten is thirty times 9 is 27, so there's one extra. And I've fought them how many times? So, I was, I'm gonna say 5. So let's try it 5 more times and see if it is limitless or if it's literally how many there are. Thank <laughs> you. 
Because even I don't want to play here forever, but I assume that there was going to be a limit. So random. I am literally, I have just, apparently I've watched way too much TV growing up and I have little random TV and commercials just go into my head. I do like that I'm making Alice tougher. I guess I could always come back. Yeah, this will be four. <laughs> like, already lost count counting to five. That's not <laughs> boating well. <laughs> this is pretty sorry. lot of things that when you're just a little kid you just say because you hear other people say it and you have no context of where that saying came from and it's like then you get older and you learn like oh that was a horrible thing to say and it's like why did y'all teach us that <laughs> for instance um something I've been getting in the habit of doing lately is calling people JJ and I don't know what that comes from where that originated from and the meaning that I was taught was basically that they're a doofus or a word that I just don't know what it means jack in any what does that mean I, I don't know. So is that like a bad word? And like these things that are in my habit to say, but are they really bad things that I can do it? <laughs> so it's like, you know, we all say things that we don't even think about the ramifications of what we say and how bad they may be. It's just like, gosh. So... Like, what is a JJ? Where did that come from? What does that mean? Is it something bad? Is it... <laughs> Try to think of another one that we said. Jack and Any, JJ. I mean, butthead, you know, but that was... Sometimes to be creative, we would say it and pretend like it was a Spanish word, idioso, which I don't even know if that is actual the 
Spanish word for that. Probably not. I'm actually curious about this. Since I can click things that are not spots. So it won't let me cast a spell. Interesting. So it automatically knows if I'm aiming at something that's actual real. That's actually kind of my stupid mouth. He's trying to slide away from me. She has become stronger! Way to go. Can I actually look at her stats? Apparently not. Okay. Wait. I'm doing it. How much damage you do when you hit stuff? Uh, Moxie affects how much damage you deal. Glamour. So I'm gonna get 40% to meat games. Nice. Item fighting bonus. Liver capacity. I don't know. Speed. Maximum AP. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Your level of get up and get her done. The higher it is, the quicker you are. Let's remember that I can come back here. So I need four fights, right? So this is one. Wow, she's doing 11 damage per hit. Ah. Oh, 
moly, moly. I don't even have to use the saw. I just keep you and shoot you. until she levels up again. And then once she doesn't level up, because if I can get her doing more than 11 damage on every person, holy crap, that can save my butt. But she, wasn't there something I was stuck on earlier? I wonder if her healing does better now. Target by 30? Huh. Wow. Sorry that was loud, but 30? That's almost my full health. How? I wish I could see her stats. Is there not a way? I might Google that real quick. I say I'm gonna Google it. Pick up my phone, I got text messages. Uh, la 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 la. Bye. I want to try something. I'm just going to try normal lame attacks.
nerd. Right? Have I been saying the wrong name? Okay, no, Doc Alice, okay. <laughs> what was I Please tell me I'm not saying the wrong name this whole time. That would be embarrassing. Bye! So, Final Fantasy... What number was that? Nine. Final Fantasy Nine. I... In the first time you're able to actually do anything, I don't want spoilers for people who haven't played it, but there is a scene that takes place that's pretty epic, and you are finally, like, in a forest, and really go after like a bunch of enemies and one of the ways you earn skills in that game is you have to get I, I think it's AP um, I don't remember it's something like AP basically if you say I have a shield equipped that has the ability um, frost resistance I'm just making I need to earn 20 AP. Alright! She became stronger! Okay, let's see how much strong she does, and then we can move on. But, um, so say I do 20 AP, and I only get 1 AP per fight, so I need to fight 20 fights to learn that skill. So I will do that. I'll literally stick around and fight fights until I do that. Well, you can change equipment on everybody and learn all the skills so that when the equipment's no longer equipped, boom! I stuck around there for hours until everyone had learned everything. 35. Nice. My health is 55 now. Well, that's cool. Okay. I think we are finally ready. Okay. Hooray! Uh, let's see. I have 168. Let's go ahead and give you that. Let's save everything else.
I will come back because I want to do the ritual. <laughs> it's the Dave Yard. Now I get it. Oh my gosh, how slow am I? The truth was out there. It killed him. That's what I went on. A snake isn't going to let you pass without a struggle. Struggle it is. All right. Let's burn you, baby. I do 17 flipping damage to you. Burn! To your face. It's not a skeleton. Okay, fine. Bam! Ha! I shrug that off with ease and fire beams. Bam! You're rude. I shoot. No. No. Okay, I'm just gonna burn you again. Beam fire. Yeah. Snake spleen. God. Electric snake skin. What is that thing? Ah, what did I just do? What in the world? Music is weird and loud. The monolith is dark. Looks like there was a huge cave in at some point. Weird device. Take it! You got an item. Strange stone arrow. Okay. That looks dangerous. Okay. All in this dark. Okay. <laughs> That's why it's humming, because it has an alien freaking device in here. Might be able to push it over. Try it. Found starts going crazy, weeping and looping, whirling around of its own accord. It practically drags you in the direction of a strange, decrepit looking house. You discover a new map location the professor's house. Check out the house. Oh, way down here. The beeping machine leads you to a ramshackle house in the middle of the desert. It's a wonder the shelf isn't full of holes. 
Crusher's Toilet is a very good repair flush. In one day, basically. Here's your shoe prop and I can mirror, basically, inside out microscope. Check yourself. Microscope mites that live in your eyelashes seem to be getting along just fine. Wow. Okay. That's disturbing. Vice doesn't seem to be operational unless its function is to do nothing. <laughs> This dresser contains 10 instances of the exact same shirt and 20 identical socks. Doesn't look like this guy sleeps very much. It looks like those are na the nails, like sleeping on a nail bed of nails, but I don't think that's what that's supposed to be. Talk. Books are all about concepts too advanced for you to even recognize. Okay. Excuse me, my name's Kim Guardian. What? Oh! I didn't notice you come in. I'm not used to having visitors. But folks usually call me Perfessor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this beeping gizmo and I sort of followed the beeping and it led me here. Well, I'll be. It certainly led you to the right place, young lady. This is L Vibrato Technology. And I happen to be as much as an expert as anyone alive today. L what now? L Vibrato. There was an ancient race that lived here long before humans. Well, they mostly lived underground, so they might still be living, as far as I know. Never seen a peep of an actual person, though. Just the machines they left behind. Were they space aliens? Could be aliens, or genius prehumans, or an entirely different terrestrial evolutionary line. At this stage of investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a closer look at that beeping gizmo. Give him the device. Aha! Uh -huh. As I suspected, this is one of their transponders. It detects others' L Vibro technology and homes in. You see, that's why it led you here. I've got a thing I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around with the transponder for a bit and then plugs a strange stone marble into a socket on it. There you go. Good as new. Just swipe up or down to turn it on or off. You got an L Vibro transponder. Swipe. Now I gotta warn you. This device will lead you to abandon L Vibro technology, but it might also attract unwanted attention. From what? From the L Vibro technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Okay. You know, now that I think about it, you've arrived at a perfect time. In order to get anywhere further with my research, I need some more samples of L Vibrato tech. But searching for it eats up all my time, and I could, I could be using for to research it. <laughs> could get that sense out. Aha! I get you. Right. You're the adventurous type, so bring me back whatever devices you find, and uh, if I can get them up and running, that'll benefit both of us. Alright, deal. Great. First priority will be to get my keystone fabricator running. They lock their doors and... Wait. They lock their doors and then things with these little stone alloy blocks, see? So if we can make our own, that'll open a lot of doors for us, literally and figuratively. Alright, what do we need? Components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. Bring me, oh, about five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the last parts I need from that much. Roger that. This is a prof professor's keystone fabricator. He's waiting on some parts to finish it. Hint, hint. Good to see you again. Have you got those five piles of scrap? Not yet. Well, that's got to be our first priority. We won't be get much further without it. Professor alone. Professor. Okay. He prefesses. I get it. Let's go. Um, what was the place I was just at? <laughs> Humming place. I want to go back there. A shot rings out and something buzzes past your ear. You quickly dive behind a rock just in case these two things are connected. And not just, say, some hunting nearby. And also there's a bee. Peering around carefully around your rock, you eventually spot movement in the underbrush. It's a hunter with an old-fashioned matchlock rifle and a cloak with leaves tucked to it, which is less effective as camouflage than it sounds, because all the trees around here are pine trees. You also notice he's been out here a really long time, which you can infer from the way he is literally a skeleton. Fight!
Wait. How do I? Hold on. Hey. Oh, I automatically equipped it. Nice. These things were out of style before your grandfather was born. They said they've got lots of little pockets for you to keep bullets and extra gun power and stuff in. Plus four to pistol attack damage. Yes! I'm not selling these. I, fi I have boots. I am happy. Nice. I like my hat. Thank you very much. Okay. Shoot. Okay, let's... I gotta get off quick. Or soon. So let's hurry over here and see if this is where I can get the scrap. I'm beginning to think not, but... Can't hurt to check. Bottom is dark. Bottom is dark. Huge cave-in. Let's go back to town. And I'll start from there next time. Let's go, Luna. Pew, pew, pew. Hurry up. Dirt water. You discovered new location. Silversmith's house. Oh dear now. Oh, you're literally like right next to dirt water. Never mind. We're gonna pick up here next time. <laughs> see what the silversmith's all about so until then thank you for watching and hope it wasn't too boring i am loving this game <laughs> it's funny it has action it has the role-playing qualities i like and you know getting exp and then using it to boost my character is actually pretty fun so i don't know what i'll do next but i i'm, I'm enjoying this until next time. Bye.